I have a drop year or I have a gap year. What are my chances with cat preparation? In this video, we'll delve deep into what is a gap, what is a drop, what is work X, what does cat consider as a work X, how important is that, all of that in complete detail. First, we'll discuss drop or gap before your undergraduation. So let's say due to some medical issues or some personal issues, or you took a break or a drop for preparing for JE, preparing for uh, NEET, etc. Uh, and you have a gap before your undergraduation. First thing, you can't do much about it right now. Second thing, don't worry about that right now. It does not hurt your chances as much as a drop or a gap after undergraduation. So make sure you have that in your head. Prepare really well for this exam. Get a stellar score and see where it takes you. Uh, you should worry about uh, preparing in terms of answering why did you have a gap and uh, why couldn't you not have a gap and still prepare well and all of that but that is a battle that you'll want to fight in jan feb of next year not now so make sure you put your head down prepare really well for cat 19 right away what counts as work cakes according to cat full-time experience paid and after your undergraduation is over. These are the three criteria for a work experience to be called as a work experience, which means anything that is paid and full time, but you don't have a status of employee, but it says an intern is not a work ex. So it has to satisfy all three conditions to, for it to be called as a work experience. Next, we look at why is work experience important for CAT preparation? CAT is not an exam which requires 12-13 hours of preparation on an everyday basis but more likely 3-4 hours of work experience. Also remember that CAT is a hit or miss exam. So there are a lot of people who take this exam twice, thrice, even 4-5 times before they get into the B school that they want to. Not to be sounding as demotivating but more in terms of being realistic. So there are people who take multiple chances at this exam to get where they want to be. So if it is a hit or miss exam and you don't have a job right now then you are looking at having one more additional break year or a drop year which is going to make your resume sound even bad it's the first idea the other idea is that uh, the if you have a break you don't have something to fall back on that creates immense pressure when you are preparing for cat so not having that pressure will actually help you improve your cat scores what do i mean by that if you have a job and then you prepare let's say with your natural ability, you will be able to score 90. Don't have a job and then you prepare with your natural ability, then you're definitely looking at something less than 90. Have that very clearly inside your head. The idea is if you have a job and prepare, your scores are going to be better than not having a job and preparing for this exam. So remember that. Let's say you took up my suggestion and then found a job for you. And uh, now how do you prepare? Let's say it is very tough for you to prepare in terms of finding time how do you prepare i can tell you hand on heart lot of people have been there done that and got into great b schools with fantastic cat scores so all you got to do is find, figure out a way to manage your time really well how do you exactly go about it look here there's going to be a video that is popping out pause this video click on new tab and watch that video stages of selection and importance of work experience so there are two stages during your selection one is your call stage the other one is your interview stage so call stage is where uh, you get called by uh, the iams or other b schools for an interview at the call stage how important is your work experience the only factor that is important in your work experience is the number of months of your work experience. The nature, role, brand name of your company, all of that does not matter at all in that stage. So all you got to do is remember how many months of work ex do you have and add that in your CAD form filling and that is going to help you. The second stage is your interview stage. In that again, your role, brand, all of that matters to an extent. But how well you are involved in your job and how well do you understand your job and how good were you at your job matters more than anything else which is also the thing that are going to be testing you aggressively during your interviews what if i have a drop year you can be sure that the most likely question that are going to be asked is about your drop year how can you prepare about that you can prepare about it after january not now right now you got to see it's an example of saying there's a big playground but there is a small door that is stopping you from entering into the playground the cat is equivalent of that small door so the cat is your key your score in cat is your key so you open that and then you can always think about how am i going to play what is my strategy and all of that but as long as you don't have your key there is no point in worrying about how well am i going to play in this game so think about this 
prepare really well for CAT. In Jan Feb, you will have enough time to think about strategizing about, hey, what am I going to answer in terms of how am I justifying my drop year and all of that. So right now, prepare well for CAT. I have a drop year already. What should I do now? I am preparing for CAT 19. The answer is fairly simple. Find a job now. Also, if you are from Chennai, uh, definitely reach out to us. We are looking to hire enthusiastic people, people who are sharp, who can pick up skills. You don't need to be a dying at something. All you need to do is put your head down, learn something and work with us. I prepared for uh, UPSC. I have a big gap, maybe one year, two years, maybe even three years. How do I justify that? Again, going back to the basics, UPSC is one of the most justifiable gaps like your uh, medical issues or you are preparing for JE, unlike taking a drop after uh, your UG just for preparing for CAT make uh, the most out of it. But also again, you need to have a fantastic CAT score to justify that gap. You should be able to answer questions maybe they'll uh, grill you on politics or whatever your subjects that you chose for your mains and all of that you should be ready to prove to them that you actually prepared well for UPSC that matters so take have that in mind but all that being said and done prepare really well for CAT take up some job right now and then prepare well uh, your CAT score should speak more than your UPSC gap don't really worry about your UPSC gap right now it is going to be justifiable let's say you're part of your family business how do you leverage that for your CAT preparation so make it as formalized as possible document everything as much as possible have an appointment letter uh, have your pay slips have your bank account credited with your salary on a monthly basis all of this helps uh, why is there so much scrutiny on this because usually people try to take advantage of this and then claim that they have worked for their family business but actually only prepared for cat so in your call stage just your work, uh, document should help you in terms of clearing that stage but in your interview stage how well you understood your job your business and how well you contributed will matter so no in and out about your business especially if you are not working you are owning the business you need to know every single detail that is possible for someone to know how much does unpaid internships unpaid ngo works and uh, online certifications MOOCs and all of that will help to be very honest about it and blunt about it is not going to help much it could help you on a personal front growing learning and all of that but from a cat point of view from a b school point of view it is really not going to help you that much it does not really help when you are facing the interviewers unless you are someone who is super passionate about something or a rock star at whatever the internship or NGO thing that you actually did. Taking a drop is not a crime but if you have the opportunity to correct it, definitely fix it. Take up a job anywhere possible. It helps a lot with your CAT preparation. Best wishes for CAT preparation. We are adding at least a video every week on cat prep. So if you like the content that we provide, give us a like on this video. Also make sure you don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.